Hello, good day everyone. My name is Sergio Conhorka from Aguado Elementary School Annex. My topic is all about data analysis in quantitative research. So, data analysis in quantitative research, the instrument needs to validate and compute its internal consistency using the Cronbach Alpha. So, first will be the survey, inventory, and rating. So we have four levels of measurements. So first, let's start with the data. So data that we have will, will be divided into two categories. So we have the qualitative and the quantitative data. So when we say qualitative, we see it's divided into two parts also. And quantitative is divided also into two parts. So qualitative is divided into two, which is the nominal and the ordinal. So when we say nominal, these numbers cannot be arranged in any particular order. Then pag sinabi natin ordinal, can be arranged in order. And when we say quantitative numerical measure, it is also divided into two. We have the internal and we have the ratio so when we say internal zero is the arbitrary best arbitrary so and the ratio is zero is not arbitrary so as we move on we will know how what is the difference between the qualitative quantitative the, and also these four levels of measurement of data so we have the measurement scales and variables so as we have said uh, data are divided into four. So we have the nominal, ordinal, internal, interval, and ratio. So when we say nominal, it is all about gender. Samples of data are gender. So hindi mo siya makakategorize na mararang. We have also religion. So hindi mo mararang ang bawat religion. Then postcode and ethnic. So when we say ordinal, so, uh, ito po ay kagaya ng satisfaction yan so hindi mo ma-re-rate ma also kung ano yung uh, satisfaction we have exam grade you fast or fail then position in class then when we say interval it is like an uh, example of this are the, uh, the IQ temperature yan score and CGP then when we say ratio, sample of this data are the height, the weight, time, age, and rank. So when we say qualitative scales of measure, so we have the scale, the, the, the nominal, and the ordinal. So let us uh, talk about the properties of this different these two scale the nominal and the ordinal. When we say nominal, the properties are data represents qualitative or equivalent or equivalent categories. So not numer numerical, cannot be rank and order. So yeah, for example, this is the eye color. Yung masasabing mas magandang ipatik, magandang, uh, mas magandang makakita ang kapag black and color ng mata. Or, Di mo masasabing mas magandang tumingin ang blue. Although, ibang iba sa atin ay na-attract sa kulay ng mata. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun na mas maganda tumingin o mas mas maganda ang vision ng eye color. Depende sa eye color. So, sample of this also is the hair color, gender, and race. When we say ordinal, Yan, properties of ordinal data are numerically ranked. Yan, but has no implication about how far apart ranks are. So, examples of these are grades and rating scales. So, we have also the summary of characteristics for all levels of measurement. So, we have the four levels of measurement, the nominal, ordinal, interval, and Ratio. So when we see also nominal, data may, may only be classified. For example, jersey numbers of football players. 
Yeah, and make of car. No, ito yung mga ano, yung models ng cars na lumalabas every year. Then, ordinal. We have the data are rank. For example, of this are your rank in class. So, meron tayong selected, meron tayong highest honor, high honor, and with honor. Yeah, then, the, uh, team standing in the pack 10. Yeah. Then, interval, we have also the meaning difference between values. Yeah. So, ang temperature. So, nakakaroon ngayon ng classification. Alimbang, ang temperature ang may lagnat at wala. So, napaka- Ano ito, napaka-timely yung example sa temperature because of this pandemic. So, kailan mag-isolate ang isang tao? Depende sa kanyang temperature at kailan siya hindi pwedeng mag-isolate. Then also the dress size. Yan. So, mayroon tayong dress size. Yung small, medium, large, extra large, triple, extra large, or depende sa sizes na ating damit. Then we will say ratio. Meaning of zero point and ratio between values. So, samples of these are numbers of patients seen. Then, number of sales calls made. Yan. Ilan ba sa mga call center, napaka, ano to, napaka uh, uh, useful. Ilan ba ang clients ang kanilang na nakokontak every day or every working hours. Yan. Then, distance to class. Then, so, let us take a look on the, and examine the difference between qualitative and quantitative. So, baka magsaka kayo ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng qualitative at saka quantitative. So, when we say qualitative, deals with description kapag qualitative. Data can be observed but not measured. So, yun nga, example, yung colors. So, hindi mo may measure ang color. Hindi mo may measure ang texture ang smells, ang taste, ang appearance, ang beauty, at saka others. So, but doon naman sa quality, quanti quantitative, deals with numbers. Yan, pag sinabi din quantitative, quantity, from the root word quantity. So, it deals with numbers. So, data which can be measured. Nami-measure siya. For example, yung length, yan, height, area, Volume, weight, speed. So, speed ng sasakyan, o speed ng sound, speed ng, ng light. So, na ano yan, na measure. Then, time, oras, temperature, yan, humidity. Doon sa mga nag, uh, sa mga farmers, napaka ano yung, ano yun, yung humidity. Kasi, pagka mayroong mga, uh, na harvest na kailangan i-imbak, kailangan ang humidity ng bawat uh, product. For example nga, yung palay. So, hindi basta-basta yung palay pwedeng i-imbak na hindi natetest yung humidity kasi pagka hindi yun na-test na, na o hindi alam ang humidity noon, maaring mabulok, maaring masira ang palay. Then, sound levels. Yan. Cost members, ages, and others. So, example of this also are the oil painting. Yan. Oil painting. So, pag tinan mo sa baba, samples ng qualitative natin, oil painting, we also have yung yung colors nga. And, for the quantitative, yun din yung picture. Ma 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 may measure natin naman ang um, ang um, quality quantitative uh, view ng painting kapag ka ito ay meron ng sukat. For example, yung, yung length, yung width, yung sukat ng frame, yung kanyang bigat, yan, at ang kanyang surface ng painting, at syempre, yung kanyang presyo, yung cost. So, doon yun, yung sukat yung quantitative research sa oil painting. Sa qualitative, hindi, meron, hindi, hindi masusukat doon Gaya ng bawat kulay, yung amo, yung texture, yung uh, brush or masterful brush strokes. Yan. Next, so which statistical best do we use to find our observed value? 
So, ito yon. So, pag decision number one, what are you looking for? So, ano ba ang pinag, ano natin, pinag, uh, nahanap kapag tayo ay magkakaroon ng, ng decision. So, we have two to uh, consider the differences and the correlation. So, when we say decision, uh, decision two, what level of measurement? Ito ba ay nabibilang sa nominal? Ito ba ay nabibilang sa ordinal and interval or ratio? So, kapag ka nag-fall sa nominal ang ating data, ang gagamitin po natin ay yung chi-squared test. So, kapag ka naman po ito ay nag-fall sa interval and ratio, meron tayong kailangan ulit pag -desisyonan. Yung decision number 3. What exper experimental design? So, kung ano yung experimental design, meron po tayong dalawa dyan. Yung independent group and repeated measure or match. So, pag sabi natin independent group, kailangan po natin gamitin yung man with me you test. Then, pag sinaya po natin repeated measures or match, kailangan po natin gamitin yung will will Poson match pairs of rank test. Yeah. Then, as a type of statistical test. So, meron tayong dalawang type of statistical test. We have the parametric and non-parametric. Then, base doon sa dalawang yon, maaga-undergo ang ating data sa level of measurement. So, yun nga po yung interval ratio, or a nominal or ordinal. So, we have the numbers of groups. Kapag isang group lang po ang gusto natin i-test, nagamit po tayo, kapag ka-interval po, agamit po tayo ng Z-test or T-test. Kapag sinabi po natin nominal, one sample chi-square test binomial. Binomial test. Then, pagka-ordinal, gagamit po tayo yung Kolmogorov Smirnov test run test. So, maaari po natin itong hingin ang tulong ng mga statistician or math teacher na nasa ating mga bawat paaralan. Kapag ka po naman two groups or related uh, samples, so yung po ang kailangan natin gamitin ay yung paired t-test. Then, kapag ka sa nominal naman po, McNimmer test. At kapag ka ordinal, Wilkoson sign rank test. Kapag ka po dalawang grupo na independent samples, we, gagamitin po natin ay independent sample t-test and for equal. Pag sinabi po natin uh, nominal, ang gagamitin po ay chi-squared test or Fisher, Fisher's exact test or if any cell has expected frequency of more than 5. Then, kapag ka-ordinal po, ang gagamitin po natin ay man with the U-test. And, examples po of par parametric test and non-parametric equivalence. So, pag parametric test po, ito po yung mga gagamitin natin mga statistical tools. We have the person correlation, independent means test, dependent means t-test, one-way independent measures, analysis of variance or ANOVA, and one way repeated measures ano ba pagka naman po non parametric or counterpart ito po yon yung tatawag natin spearman's correlation chi square test man with the test wilkoson test kruskal wallis test and ferdman's test yan kapag ka naman po uh, ang ating hanapin ay yung probabili uh, probability hypothesis. Pag nagtetest po tayo ng ating hypothesis, so ito po yung mga kailangan natin i-consider. Kapag ka po probability, ang tinetest natin ay probability hypothesis test, kailangan po natin gamitin yung mga, ito po yung mga possible na result. So test value of less than or of table value. So what is what is means so statistical significance test null null hypothesis is not true. Example is there is a significance difference between values. Pagka po test value 
Pangaari po maging statistically significant chance non hypothesis is true. For example of this is there is no there is not a significant difference between values. Pagka po p value hypothesis test ang ating gagamitin, yung p value po at saka yung alpha value example is the p less than 0.05. So ano po ang ibig sabihin noon? So Statistically, significance ng chance na hypothesis is not true. Ano po ang ilalagay natin doon? So, there is a significant difference between values. Pagka naman po p-value alpha, ayan po, ang magiging uh, meaning po niya ay statistically significant chance na hypothesis is true or Uh, there is there is not a significant difference between values. That's all.